Week three of the 2021 season kicks off with the Carolina Panthers visiting the Houston Texans on Thursday night football. Carolina has a new identity on defense that has led them to a 2-0 start. The Texans are looking to play tough for a third straight week, but will have to do so with rookie Davis Mills at quarterback. According to the polls that we took on Instagram, 87% of you believe that the Panthers are going to beat the Houston Texans. Our pick, we're taking the Panthers as well by 13. Sunday is filled with plenty of divisional games, including the Tennessee Titans versus the Indianapolis Colts. The Titans leaned on King Henry last week to upset the Seahawks. For the Colts, it's been a rough 0-2 start to the season and potentially could be without their starting quarterback. And according to the polls that we took on Instagram, the Titans are favored to win 78% as opposed to the Colts, only 22% favoring them. We take the Titans, winning by four. One of these teams will pick up their first win and the other will find themselves in an even bigger hole. The Atlanta Falcons versus the New York Giants. Both teams for a hot second were able to keep their games last week close, but ultimately find themselves winless thus far. A shootout could be brewing in East Rutherford. According to the polls, 60% of you believe that the New York Giants will win, while 40% are favoring the Falcons. We're going to roll with a 40% and say that the Falcons win by a field goal. After suffering close and heartbreaking losses last week, the Chiefs and the Chargers will face each other in this AFC West matchup. Travis Kelsey has a touchdown in six consecutive regular season games, but it might come down to which team can run more effectively as both run defenses have struggled. According to the polls, you guys favored the Chiefs to win. 83% versus 17% favor the Chargers. Huge favorite, we're going with the Chiefs to win by 10. We could see more defense than we expect in this game. The Cincinnati Bengals versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. Both offenses are struggling early in the season. The Bengals pass attack isn't meeting expectations while Ben Roethlisberger is dealing with a pectoral injury. Taking a look at the polls, 65% of you favor the favorites in the Pittsburgh Steelers while 35% are going with the Bengals. We're going to lean in on the Steelers to win by six. Is this the beginning of a new era in Chicago? Justin Fields leads the Bears into Cleveland to take on the Browns. Cleveland had a little bit of a scare last week, but ultimately were able to beat the Texans. For the Bears, they're hoping that Fields can provide that spark that this offense desperately needs. And looking at the polls, you guys are favoring the Browns, 75%, while a fourth of you are going to take the Chicago Bears. We're going to lean in on the Browns winning this, but we think this is going to be a close one, so the Browns only win by three. Two teams that have momentum on their side go head-to-head, -head, the Baltimore Ravens versus the Detroit Lions. The Ravens are coming off a big win against the Chiefs, while the Lions' offense has held up on its own the last couple of games. And looking at the polls, it's not even close. 95% of you favor the Ravens, while only 5% of you, maybe Detroit Lions fans, favoring the Lions. We're going to take the Ravens to win this by a big margin, win by 20. We head over to Foxborough as the Saints visit the New England Patriots. It's been an up and down season thus far for the Saints, blowing out the Packers in week one, but losing big time against the Panthers last week. The Patriots offense is still looking to get things going, but there's no question that the defense is one of the best in the league. Looking at the polls, you guys are favoring the Saints to win 65%, 35% are favoring the Patriots. We're gonna go against the grain here and pick the Patriots to win in a close one, by two. He's playing at an MVP level. Kyler Murray and the Arizona Cardinals versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. No question that the Cardinals offense is one of the best in the league. On the other hand, Trevor Lawrence is not doing well as many expected to start off the season. Looking at the polls, 89% of you are favoring the 2-0 Cardinals, while 11% of you have faith in the 0-2 Jags. We're taking the Cardinals in this to win by a big margin, 24 points. The legend of Taylor Heineke continues. The Washington football team travels to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. The tale of a great defense versus a great offense. Washington's defense has struggled at times, and same goes for Buffalo's offense. Which one will come out on top? Looking at the polls, 82% are favoring the Bills, while Washington is favored to win by 18% of you. We're taking the Bills, but we think it's going to be kind of close, so the Bills by 8 not the best start for the promising rookie, but Zach Wilson and the New York Jets are looking to turn things around against the undefeated Denver Broncos. 
Teddy Bridgewater has completed 77% of his passes thus far this season. As for Wilson, he's looking to put his four interception game from last week behind him. Looking at the polls, 86% of the viewers favor the Broncos to win, 14% favor the Jets. We're taking the Broncos to win by multiple possessions, win by 17. Never thought we would say that the Las Vegas Raiders are undefeated. They host the Miami Dolphins. Tua Tagovailoa will miss this game due to fractured ribs, an already huge blow to an offense that has struggled. It won't get any easier against a much improved Raiders defense led by Casey Hayward and Max Crosby. Looking at the polls, you guys agree. The Raiders versus the Dolphins. 86% of you favor the Raiders, 14% favor the Dolphins. We'll take the Raiders by seven. The Vikings are hoping that this game won't be lost by a field goal as they host the Seattle Seahawks. A difference of just two plays separates the Vikings from being 2-0 versus 0-2. For the Seahawks, it was a tough one last week, but Russell Wilson and his league-leading 146 passer rating will look to light it up this Sunday. Looking at the polls, 78% of you believe that Russ will cook and beat the Vikings, while 22% of you are favoring Minnesota. We believe that the Seahawks are going to win, but it's going to be close. Seahawks by four. By far the game of the week. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Los Angeles Rams. Both teams seem like they have everything together on offense and defense. Tom Brady is playing better than ever at 44 years old, while Matthew Stafford seems like he's the best thing that could ever happen to the Rams. Looking at the polls, 67% favor the defending Super Bowl champs, while 33% are going with the Rams. We're going with the Rams to win by just one point. Matt Gay gets his revenge on his former team. Sunday Night Football, the Green Bay Packers versus the San Francisco 49ers. Aaron Rodgers shut the media up and showed that he's still one of the best in the game. Meanwhile, the 49ers are undefeated, and Kyle Shanahan has a history of not just beating the Packers, but beating them by a significant margin. Looking at the polls, 62% of you say that doesn't matter. We're still going with the Packers, while 38% of you think that the 49ers are going to stay undefeated. And finally, the Monday Night Football game will be an NFC East showdown between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys rebounded last week after losing a heartbreaker to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, the Eagles lost to the 49ers and start the season 1-1. One one. Looking at the polls, 65% of you believe that the Cowboys do have some winning mentality inside of them, while 35% are favoring Jalen Hurts and the Eagles. We're taking the Cowboys to win by four.